Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to continue working on the program that we wrote in the previous video. So I want this to keep on displaying to, uh, to the user until the user specifies they don't want to keep on entering the temperature. So I can use a while loop. Um, now, I would need to kind of grab some entry from the user. So I'm going to have a string variable called answer. And then I'm going to ask the user to um, enter whether they would like to enter the temperature for today. Would you like to enter the um, temperature for today? And then I would might want to indicate to the user on uh, what sort of replies I'm expecting. So I would put between brackets a Y or an N indicating that um, indicating that this is what you should enter if you want to continue. So Y for yes and N for no. And then based on the answer, so I will have a while loop. I'll go while and while answer, sorry, while answer is equal to y, then do all of that. Okay. I uh, might need to ask that question again because otherwise we'll run into an infinite loop. So I need, so the first time it was y, um, assuming that it was y from the user. So when we enter the while loop, it's always going to be while and it's just going to run into an infinite loop. So it's really important that we do ask the question again after the end of the else statement on the same level of the else. So we'll run all of these and then come down here, grab the end three again. And I could have a message in the end after the user says end for no, uh, just so we indicate that the program has ended. We can say goodbye. Now I'm going to run the program and I'm going to say yes. So this uh, this uh, takes me into um, the while loop. So I'm just going to have a space there so that my entry is not really stuck. Um, and also, um, yeah, I might want to have that question or this indicated in here. Okay, I'm just going to write it again. Uh, nothing changes except for the display of the program. So it's currently running, so I need to actually stop it and then I'll run it again. Okay, so I'm going to say yes and enter the temperature for today. This is going to work exactly the same and keep saying yes. And I'll do 22.2 um, and then I'll say yes again and I'll say um, 16. Yes, minus one, so that's very cool. And then I'll say no. Okay, and I might need to fix this here down as well because I copied it before I actually edited it. So the program is really working as expected and in the end it is saying um, goodbye. So that's a good thing. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.